All right, we're at segment number seven. Uh, we're going to talk about some of the legal protections of the solo 401k or the 401k. Tim, this, is, this ought to be a short and sweet segment. Tell us about some of the legal protections that the 401k offers. It's protected. It's protected. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what can you say? It's protected. So let's talk about uh, creditors. Say you got creditors. Okay, well, the creditors, there's typically two different scenarios whenever you're going to be hit with a lawsuit. A, you're going to be hit with a lawsuit in state court, the state courts. If they win the lawsuit, your state law is going to determine if your 401k is exempt or not. 90% of the states say that, in fact, I think it's 99, probably 100% of states say 401k assets are protected from the claims of creditors. Bam, we got asset protection. But let's go a step further. Let's say the worst financial situation happens and you got to file bankruptcy. Okay, great. In sections 541 and 522 of the bankruptcy code, it says black and white, your 401k is asset protected. Now let's say you did something wrong and uh, that would cause you to lose the legal protection of the 401k. It would be like fraud or something. Oh, I'm sorry, not fraud, but you didn't do cross the T dot an I okay. on your 401k documents. There's bankruptcy cases out there where people have been able to go back six, seven years and get their plan amended they put their bankruptcy on freeze until they got their plan amended. Now the plan was amended, voila, they had complete asset protection. So I can't overemphasize how much asset protection the 401ks give. Okay, what about IRS protection? Does it offer anything from the IRS? You know, that's a mind blower too. IRS can go after your IRA, they can take it away from you. But they're nice whenever they do it. They don't hit you with the 10% early withdrawal penalty. So that's kind of like... <laughs> they just take it. Yeah. You don't have to pay the 10% yeah, withdrawal penalty. They're, they're kind of nice on that. Yeah. They can do the exact same thing with your 401k, but there's ways that you can structure your 401k where it's not in pay status, where you don't have rights to that money. So if you lock up, up the money inside your 401k plan and you make the proper elections, even the IRS can't go after your 401k plan. Okay, are these elections something that someone has to opt in for or you just do it automatically when someone signs up with you? They're gonna to have to opt in. They're gonna to have to but tell you're gonna bring it to their attention. Absolutely. And They're you gonna say- You'll advise them and then they can make their own decision, but- We'll talk to them about yeah. it. Yeah. At least they'll make an educated decision. We're gonna make the right choice for them. Yeah. Uh, so, but absolutely, we can be protected from regular creditors, we can be protected from bankruptcy, and in many cases, we can be protected even from the IRS. Wow, good stuff. All right, on to segment number eight, uh, bank account setup, okay? Some exciting stuff here.